project on probability and need our help. As you totally forgot and are kind of late. No problem, Grace. You're welcome. We will call you back. Solutioneers, my cousin Grace has a probability emergency. Meet at the hideout stack. Riley, you've had me at probability. And I get to use these scale model doors I made for my Dungeon Guild game. And Kat, you have the second camera set up so Grace can see everything. Yep. And I've hooked up my laptop to send Grace text messages so she can understand us as we go. Oh, here she is now. Hey! Okay, Grace, so this game should help you with your project. It's called Pick a Door. First, I cover the doors like this. As the Game Master, I'm the only one who can see behind these doors. Next, I'll place this dino behind one of the doors. This is our prize. You want this dino. Um, it's actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but continue, please. For the other two doors, I'll put these two bananas behind them. These are the losers. Next, pick door one, two, or three. Okay, pick door one, two, or three. Got it. And FYI, this is how you sign one, two, three in ASL. Hold your palm so it faces out. One and two are the same, but for three, you use your thumb. If you do a three like this, that means six. Three. Grace chose door three, so door number three stays closed. Now I open one of the other ones that has a banana or loser behind it. <laughs> Grace is signing banana. Ooh, I like that one. Banana. Banana. Now, for the moment of truth. Grace can either stay with her original choice to see what's behind door number three, or she can see if the dino, I mean, Tyrannosaurus Rex, is behind the other door. Or she could switch to the other door and see if the prize is behind there. I get it now. Grace, do you want to stay? Or switch. Switch. Switch to door number two. Dino! Grace wins! Woo! Awesome! Wait, does this mean awesome? All right, one test down. But to really demonstrate the probability of winning, we have to do it a bunch more times. But this is taking forever and Grace is on a deadline. I have an idea to speed this up. I think I can code a simulation to run this game thousands of times on a computer. I'm sending over the tests now. Wow, Grace's code is amazing. It's running the simulation thousands of times. After running 5,000 simulations, there's a one in three chance of winning if you stay, but a one in two chance if you switch. Switching makes a big difference. A huge difference. Thank you so much, friends. This is just what I needed. And I think I can get my probability project in just in time. Glad we could help, but it was your stellar code that saved the day in the end. Maybe Riley can teach us sign language for the next time we hang out. Well, it's Grace's language. American Sign Language, to be exact. It'd be best if Grace teaches us sign. Would you come back and teach us some sign language, Grace? I'd love to. Awesome! Hey, Solutioneers fans! Check out more stuff on Shaftesbury Kids' YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe!